evening. Good evening. Hello, good, evening. good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How about, good evening, teacher. How about you, rain? About the rain. You know, it's, it is raining here, but it's not that heavy. It's not. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How about you? How about there? Super rich to sleep. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but after the class, after the class, okay? Not during the class. Okay. okay just give me a second. I'm trying to do something. Ahí está. In class, what day is it today? Who can tell me the date? Is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Who's, what day is it today? Tuesday, 72. 72? 20. 21. Oh, no, that, yeah, that 22. Yeah. 21. 21. Yeah, I got scared. Oh my God. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. Did they Let me ask you again. What day is it today? Sorry, no, Seria. 21st. Today is June 21. Tuesday. June. Tuesday. Uh -huh. 21st. No, 21st. No, 21st. 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 Or 21st, that's okay. 21st, 21st, that's okay. Okay. But remember... The class 10th. Exactly. Class number 10th. Class number 10. Oh, yeah. Yes, right? Yes. Class number 10. Oh my God. tendrá Uyanga? I don't know. Do not forget, have your cameras on, please. So I can see you, your classmates can see you as well. And we can participate and interact during the class. It's really nice to see you, you know. As Aleli, she was mentioning, this is class number 10. Class number 10, week yes. number three. Mm -hmm. So let me look for the topics that we are going to have today. Recuerden, para decir la fecha, usamos ordinal numbers, ordinal numbers. So today is the 21st of June, the 21st of June. Okay. Let me look for the topics for today. What were we practicing yesterday? What was the topic from yesterday? Who can tell me? Do you like rap? Mm -hmm. We were asking about likes and dislikes. Kind of music. Kind of music and Top shows. type of TV, TV shows. shows. Yeah, type of TV, TV shows. And shows. TV shows. Likes and dislikes. Sitcoms. So operas, game shows, reality shows, talk shows. Our show. Okay. Aquí vamos. Si se fijaron, if you noticed yesterday, we were practicing yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. No teníamos otra opción de respuesta. Only yes or no. Yes, no questions. Let's make a very quick review about this topic. Because we call it the simple present questions, short answers, simple present questions, short answers. And we were also making use of object pronouns. Eso es lo que estaban viendo ayer. Short answers. Number one. If you see, we have two types of questions in English. Tenemos dos tipos de preguntas in English. The questions that we can answer with yes and no. And the questions that we require extra information. Look, yes, no. Do you like country music? Yes, no. Does she play the piano? Yes, no. Okay. Do they like Imagine Dragons? Yes, no. ¿Qué es lo que buscamos hacer en este nivel? Ya no solo basarnos 
en la respuesta corta. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Si no, agregar más información. Extra information. And we have expressions that are very useful. For example, I love it. I don't like it very much. See? She plays very well. She doesn't play an instrument. They like them a lot. They don't like them at all. Acostumbrémonos desde ya a no solo dar respuestas cortas, yes or no, sino complementar la idea para que sonemos más avanzados, ¿ok? No tan básicos. Estas son las yes no questions en the WH words are the ones who are going to require extra information coming from people. What kind of music do you like? I really like rap. What does she play? She plays the guitar. Who do they like? They like Maroon 5. Object pronouns. It and them. Ayer se lo ocupamos estos. It and them. I love it. I like it. I like them. I don't like them. It and them. Ya vamos a ver las reglas de los object pronouns. But this is like a quick review. Todo esto cubrimos ayer. Se lo voy a compartir para que ustedes puedan tener la información a la mano y comparar los dos tipos de preguntas en English. Two type of questions in English. Of course, in the present, using the simple present tense. Okay. Eso es lo que vimos ayer, por si alguien no estuvo presente. Ahí está la información resumida. Okay. Let's go to the platform and let's see. Simple present tense, yes, no questions. Welcome everyone, it's time to start with the class. Let's have this type of exercise, but now asking or getting information from other people, from the third person. Ayer vimos información personal. Ustedes respondían con su información. But now I am going to make questions about people, about my family, about other people, you know? And what are we going to use? If I am talking about the third person in English, I am going to use an auxiliary. In this case, the auxiliary does. Si estoy hablando de la tercera persona, third person, he, she, or it, I am going to use the auxiliary, does. There we go. Just no questions. Let's see. Tenemos la primera pregunta. Does Zoe speak English? Does Zoe speak English? ¿Cómo la respondemos con un sí? How do we reply in an affirmative form? Yes, does Zoe? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Pero necesito un comentario extra. Does Zoe speak English? Yes, she does. Who can make an extra comment about Zoe? Mm, what can you say? say? Mm -hmm. She's speaking English. English very good. There we go. Oh. Yes, she does. She speaks English very good. 
ya nuestra oración ya no es básica, ya la convertimos en algo más avanzado. ¿Por qué? Porque damos información extra. There we go. Number two, Gladys. Do you want to try with number two? Does Tim work in a bank? Does Tim work in a bank? No, he doesn't. Oh, I guess, I guess your microphone, right? Okay, go please. Creo que no funciona el micrófono, ¿verdad? Ok, don't worry, don't worry. Veamos con Jessica Janet. Jessica Janet. Yeah. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He, work, mm -hmm. eh, he works eh, in a restaurant. Okay, he works in a restaurant. Muy buen complemento. Irma Raquel, number three is for you. Make the question, please. Make the questions. Are you ready to participate? Yes, I guess. Okay, let me stop sharing. Hagamos algo, listen class. Remember eh, that this is just an hour class. Es una clase de una hora, please. Eh, I understand that we are taking classes from home and most of the time we can have... Okay, Gladys, no se preocupe. A veces podemos eh, tener dificultades en casa, tanto por el micrófono, tengo a mi familia alrededor, pero... Tratemos de estar listos para participar, ¿ok? Todos, everybody. Créanme que tomo al azar los participantes para que todos practiquemos y tratemos de esta hora sí concentrarnos en la clase, ¿ok? Porque si no, cualquier distracción ya nos pierde del hilo de la clase y después por eso quizás no queda clara la idea o me quedan preguntas. ¿Estamos claros con eso, clase? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes right? teacher. Hagamos yes. ese compromiso. Yes. I clear. Esta hora que sea yes. enfocada en participar y entender los, eh, los ejercicios de clase. Ok, here we go. Ok, pregunto ahora, Emerson, please. Number three is for you. Make the question and then answer with an affirmative so sentence. Number three. Ok. So it's he likes swimming? Yes, okay. he does. He likes it swimming. Okay, he likes it a lot. Very good. Great job. Number four, Carlos Eden. <clears throat> does Jimmy read horror books? Okay. Um, yes, uh, he does. Jimmy uh, read horror books every night. Excellent compliment. Cristelia, number five. Does she have a new cell phone? No, eh, she doesn't. She is a... Uh, no. no, she doesn't, she? All cell phone? She has a new cell phone. There we go. Uh, Daisy Magdalena, number one, please.
Yes, she does. She speaks very well. Okay, but read the question and then answer. One more time. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. Go. I'm sorry. <laughs> does does Sue speak English? Yes, she does. She speaks very well. There we go. Gabriela Lisette, number two is for you. Go, please. Does Tim work in a bank? No, he doesn't. He works in a hotel. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Isabel, number three is for you. And Glenda, number four is for you after her. Go, please. Does he like singing? And yes, he does. He is uh, swimming very well. Okay, he is a good swimmer. Glenda, continue, please. No, anoté la respuesta en la número cuatro. Eh, no, no hay problema. Aquí podemos inventar. Podemos inventar ahorita. Glenda, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Um, yes, he does, um, he does read, um. Ok, don't no, worry, don't be afraid. ¿Quién le puede ayudar? Veamos, en la cuatro. Y esto es de complementar con sus ideas, ok? No hay una respuesta específica. Who wants to try with number four? Who wants to try? ¿Quién quiere probar? Who wants to try? Me. Go, please. Does Jimmy read horror books? Yes, he does. He read books, horror, horror books every day. There we go. Excellent. Eduardo Elias, try with number five. And then Fatima Esmeralda with number one again. Go, please, Eduardo. Does she have a cell phone? No, she doesn't. She has a cell phone. Okay, I like it. Okay. Interesting information. Thank you. Fatima, number one. And then Brian with number two. Brian Isaac. Okay, Fatima. Does so I speak English? English? Yes, she does. Um, I'm very good I speak English. There we go. Excellent compliment. Brian, please. Number two. Dustin work in a bank. Uh, no, Tim doesn't work in a bank. Uh, Tim work in a... Uh, a park. Okay, I like it, I like it. Very good job. Si se fijan, estamos preguntando sobre alguien más. Él o ella, he or she. Les pregunto ahora sobre sus compañeros. Let me ask about your classmates. Using yes, no questions as a reference. Les pregunto about ¿Quién elijo? Veamos. Let me pick you. Ok. Hi, Cesar. Hi. Do you work in a bank? No, I, no, I don't. No, I don't. Class, does Cesar work in a bank? No, no, he doesn't. He does no, work at the university. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, but how do you know? Pregúntenle dónde trabaja entonces. Vamos. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where do you yes, work? Where do you, Where do you work? work? Ah, okay. I work, I work in the university. So, now give me the response. Deme la respuesta. I work, I work in the university. Universidad del Salvador, Universidad Evangélica del Salvador. Okay. 
Okay. Cesar, how, you how are the you teacher? Do, how no. do you do it exactly? Okay, I like it. No, I teach. No, I am teacher. You are okay. not a teacher. No. Okay. <laughs> I am not teacher. <laughs> how, do, teacher. how do you do exactly? What? How do you do exactly? Um, how do you say uh, ordinance? Mm -hmm. No, no, not remember. Janitor. No remember. Janitor. <laughs> yes. Okay, interesting. Ven como de una pregunta, podemos generar discusión y hablar inglés. There we go. Let me have a girl. Preguntémosle. Ah, let me see. Por lo menos háganle tres preguntas para que ella responda sí y no. Aquí vamos. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Ask her three questions, please. Háganle tres preguntas. Oh. Is a you worker? Uh -huh. mm, no, I do. No, I don't. What? No, yeah, you are a student. Yes, I do. What is your you name? Uh, what? Uh -huh. Where do you student? Um, I student in Centro Federal Católico Alberto Monferrer. Okay, you are a student, um, middle, middle, um, ¿cuál sería, teacher? Eh, eh, el, eh, a nivel, nivel. Uh, high school. High school? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, now what can we tell me? Okay, go please. What is your question? Isabel, do you have 21 years old? No, I don't. Do you have a pet? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Continue. Sigan, sigan hablando, please. Isabel, do you have 18 years old? Mm, no, I don't. How do you live, Isabel? Uh, I live in the lower All right. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you, how do you parents? Oh. Mm, yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Bien, clase. Ayúdenme a corregir todo esto. Number one, do you have 21 years old? That is not correct. How do we correct this expression? How old are you? Muy bien. En este caso, no es una respuesta de sí y no. ¿Será que ella puede responder, do you have 21 years old? Mm, creo que no es algo... Pero no podría contestar con un sí o un no. Pero, ajá, teacher, I have a no, question. No, Pero no, no podría no. decir, por ejemplo, no, Why I don't, no. I have, no, I have 25 years old. No, ¿sabes por qué? Esa fue mi idea. Porque se pregunta, are you 21 uh, years old? Jamás vamos a decir, do you have, tien? eso es muy literal. Oh. Okay. So es Spanglish, le llamaría yo. La correcta es, are you 21 years old? Ahí sí, puede decir sí okay. o no. Are you okay, 21 years old? Okay, thank you. Isabel, how old are you? Oh, Where bien. Are you? Where you? How old are you? Do you yeah. listen? I am 17 years old. Oh, muy bien. I am 17 years old. 
Look at the number two. La segunda, ¿cómo la corrigen? Are you a student? Yes, I do. Yes, uh -huh. yes I am. Ah, ok. We cannot say yes, I do. ¿Por qué no puedo decir yes, I do? Why not? Because Porque el verbo es el verbo. Hacer no es el verbo. Exacto. Para empezar. Muy bien. Para empezar, me están preguntando con el verbo to be. Debo responder con el verbo to be. Yes, I am. Are you an student? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Number three, I live in the Lourdes. How do you correct that expression? I live in no. Lourdes. Hmm? I live in Lourdes. In Lourdes. In Lourdes. Muy bien, in Lourdes. Okay, no es eh, para atacar a Isabo. No, al contrario, para que todos aprendamos eh, más que todo de la estructura de las respuestas. Sigamos. Tengo a alguien más y le hacen preguntas mientras yo escucho. Let me have another girl. Cristelia. Go, please. Háganle preguntas. Go. Make her questions. Go, please. Just one. Solo uno. <laughs> Les agradezco, compañero. Wow. Hi, Cristelia. Yeah. Interesting yeah. questions. Preguntas interesantes. Cristelia, where are you from? Okay. I am from in Cotepeque City. Okay. You are married, Cristelia? No, I. I... Singles? No. You are single? Continue, continue. Cristelia, are you in your house right now? What? Are you in your house right now? Are you in, in your house? In your house. Are you in your house right in now? In your house. Are you in your house? No entiendo como, are you? Diría que si estás en tu casa, creo que está preguntando. Are you? Ah, are you in your house? Yes, I am. I. Is there, o como se dice? Estoy en casa. I am. I am in my house. I am. Bien, let's stop here. Thank you, Cristelia. Number one. La pregunta fue, where are you from? Where are you from? ¿Será que está correcto decir, I am from Cojutepeque? Creo que esto lo vimos con ustedes. Where are you from? And where do you live? Where are you from is about nationality, mm -hmm, I think. Exactly. And where do you live is the exactly lugar, the exact place in mm -hmm. the country. Exactly, in the country. We are being specific. ¿Cuál es la correcta pregunta? The correct questions. Pregunta correcta. Where do you live? Where do you, where do you live? live? Where, where do you live? Okay. Yo creo que la pregunta estuvo bien, pero tal vez la respuesta eh, fue la confusa. Where are you from? Ah, I'm from El Salvador. Where do you live? I live in Cajutepeque. And número dos, you are single? Are yes, you I am single. single. Mm -hmm. are, you single? are you single? Ok, esta es una afirmación con un, una entonación de pregunta, pero esta no es una pregunta. Aquí ya estamos afirmando que está soltera. Are you single? Ahora sí es pregunta. Look. Yes, I am single. Yes, I am. I am single. Oops. Debería borrar eso. Y la última solo es una expresión que estaba correcta. Muy bien, clase. Si se fijan, de esa manera es fácil. Si yo los escucho hablando, I can detect. 
Please, Jessica, what is your question? Eh, en la, en la pregunta que puso de, de que si estaba en su casa, oh. porque puso en la pregunta house, creo, y la respuesta oh. era home. O sea, se pueden usar las dos. Yes, home and house, yes. Okay. Are you at home? Yes, I am. Are you in your house right now? Yes, I am. Se puede usar. Okay. Solo que es como es que, es home, sinónimo. Home que no es como hogar y house es como en sí la casa. Exactly. So, are you in your house? Is that your house? ¿Es esa tu casa? No podemos decir, is that your home? No. Is that your house? Yes. Okay. Are you at home? ¿Están en casa? Yes. They, they are just like synonyms. Bien, pero si se fijan, eh, si sí, tratemos de prestarle atención a ese tipo de preguntas, repasemos un poco más las yes no questions, cuándo las puedo utilizar y cuándo necesito información extra, información que yo no tengo. Be careful with that, please. Vamos a ver, for today, we are going to go to the platform. Let's watch just one video for today. Remember that we have been making questions. And it is very important to practice making questions. Vamos a ver section number four. Aquí estamos, section four. Oh, section four. Okay. Wow, it is taking a lot. Ahí está, ahí está mucha. There we go. Oh, let me do something. Ustedes son el pre-intermedio uno. You're not a basic group. You're the pre-intermediate one. I'm so sorry. This is the correct one. Section number four. Do you like rap? That is the question that we were discussing yesterday. Okay, now we are in the right place. Uh, if you notice, this is a great example of making questions. Hemos estado practicando dos tipos de preguntas. Yes, no questions, and also WH words, questions. And it is very important to make the correct question, but at the same time to make the correct intonation. Let's have these two examples as a practice. So you can have the correct pronunciation or the correct intonation in questions. Here we go. In this lesson, participants would listen, notice and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation, intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay, because of the time, we are not going to record ourselves, but we are going to practice breathing. Remember that we have rising and falling intonation. And usually, with yes, no questions, we are going to have rising intonation. And with WH questions, usually or most of the time, we are going to have falling intonation. Entonación que sube, entonación que baja. 
seamos bien específicos con la pronunciación para que se distinga que no es una afirmación, sino que es una pregunta. Look at number one. Número uno, Glenda, how do you read number one? The first example. Um, do you like to watch TV? Okay, repeat um, that again, please. Repeat. Do you like to watch TV? There we go. Is that rising intonation or falling intonation? Sube o baja la pronunciación. intonation. It goes up. Look. Desde acá sube. Ok. Uso otro color. Este no se ve. Rising intonation. It goes up. Va hacia arriba las últimas expresiones. Carlos Eden. Number two. Please. Do you like music? One more time. Do you like music? Very good intonation. Do you like music? Elvis, number three, please. Do you play a musical instrument? There we go. Do you play the musical instrument? Edgardo Antonio, can you try with number four? Number four. What programs do you like? One more time. What programs do you like? Ah, ahora sí. What programs do you like? What programs do you like? Ven la diferencia. Baja la entonación. What programs do you like? Brian Isaac. Can you try with number five? Uh, what videos do you like? One more time. What videos do you like? One more time. Que no baja cuando lleva WH question. Pero yo la escucho como una afirmación, sí. What videos do you like? What videos do you like? What videos do you like? Muy bien, there we go. Now I can identify the foreign intonation. Ana Karina, the last one, please. Which musical instrument do you play? Which musical instruments do you play? Muy bien. Do you play? Baja la entonación. Now, let me have Aleli con todas las preguntas. Go, please. <laughs> do you like what TV? Do you like music? Do you play the musical instrument? What program do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Okay, I like it. It is Elena, please. All of the examples. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What program do you like? What video do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Very good pronunciation. Edwin Ernesto. Can you give it a try, please? Give it a try. Give it a try. Probemos. Give it a try. Edwin Ernesto. Okay, Jasmine Yvonne, please. Jasmine Yvonne. Give it a try. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a music instrument? What program do you like? What video do you like? Which music instrument do you play? Okay. Teacher, teacher, sorry. Muy bien, go Edwin. Now is your time to participate. Excellent. Thank you, Jasmine. Excellent. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? 
What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which music, which musical instrument do you play? Okay. If you see, si se fijan las últimas tres, como que desde el inicio les vamos dando la entonación. What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? Aleli, please, what is your question? Uh, usted que las últimas tres, la fuerza de voz está en las primeras dos sílabas. En las primeras dos palabras. Which what one? programs? What programs do you do you like? Mm -hmm. O sea, ahí se, se oye la pronunciación más fuerte. En las primeras dos palabras. In this one. Uh -huh. You are referring to this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the example. Miren el ejemplo que teníamos. ¿A dónde va la entonación alta y la baja? Mira. They have falling into nation. Ahí están los ejemplos. Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Como que desde el inicio vamos dando la entonación baja. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay. There we go. So questions about this exercise, because you have a listening exercise about the correct intonation. ¿Cómo se sienten con este ejercicio? Pronunciation. Easy, difficult. Creo que es cuestión de reconocer las preguntas si son de sí o no, o son de WH. Uh -huh. Y de practicar un poco más, pienso yo. Yo creo que sí. Vale, miren la primera. ¿Cómo leemos la número uno? Number one. What's in? What's in? What's in? What kind of music does Bill like? Sube o baja la entonación. What kind of music does Baja. 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 Number two. What kind of movies does Bill like? What kind of movies does Bill like? Number three. What kind of TV programs does Bill like? What kind of TV programs does Bill like? Okay, number four. What kind of music does John like? What kind of continue number five? What kind of movies does John like? Number six. What kind of TV programs does John like? Spelling. Aquí está. Erróneo. What kind of TV program does John like? Number seven. What kind of music does Tony like? Very good. Number eight. What kind of movies does Tony like? Number nine. What kind of TV program does Tony like? Number ten. What kind of music does Linda like? Number 11. What kind of music does Linda like? Number 12. What kind of music does Linda like? And the last one, number 12. What kind of programs does Linda like? Here we go. Falling intonation. Baja la pronunciación. All right. All right, well, this is a very extensive exercise. Ya hicieron este, by the way, ya hicieron este. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. Nice. yes. 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 Yes, I do. Did you do the exercise already? Yes, yes I, I did. Muy bien. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Very good. Yes, I did. If you Thank see. You. Es importante practicar la entonación, ok? Rising and falling intonation. Because in that way, 
you are going to identify the correct pronunciation. This is just a speaking practice. Questions about rising and falling intonation for simple present tense questions. Comentarios, como sienten el ejercicio? How do you feel the exercise? Easy or difficult? Interesting. Interesting. Ah, interesting. Easy. Easy? You know, let's do something. It is, it is interesting. Interesting, right? Vamos a hacer algo. Si se fijan, section number four. Todavía tenemos tomorrow and Thursday to finish this section. And we are just missing two topics. For today, we were going to introduce a new topic, but I'm really interested in listening to your pronunciation. Let's do something and let's have this as the last activity for today. Si me pongo con el nuevo tema, ya no alcanzamos a cubrirlo totalmente. Hagamos esto. We are going to record ourselves. Vamos a grabarnos. And we are going to share the correct pronunciation with the class. I guess we have done a similar exercise before in bocaru.com. Ya hemos utilizado este programa, bocaru.com, bocaru.com. Yes. Yes. I yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Google it, please. Vamos a Google, Google it. Y ponen bocaru.com. Siempre, si es la primera vez que lo usan, les va a solicitar permiso, permitir utilizar audio. Tenemos que darle que sí. Grabémonos leyendo las oraciones que nos piden el ejercicio. Luego vamos a compartir el enlace en la plataforma, okay? En la plataforma. This is the exercise. Exercise 4.6 intonation in questions. Let's look for the questions that we are going to read and then we are going to record ourselves. Let me see. So now, so now, so now, so so now, 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 Aquí está. Bien, clase, son seis preguntas que van a grabarse. Bocaru.com. Creo que no nos va a tomar más de diez minutos, que son los que nos queda. Recuerden, les genera un enlace y ese enlace tienen que postearlo. Dejarlo en el ejercicio 4.6, 4.6. Vámonos ahorita individual a Bocaru.com. Nos grabamos leyendo las oraciones and then we are going to share the link with your classmates. Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes or no? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a grabar diciendo las ahorita. I'm going to send you. Right now, teacher? Yes, right now. Tenemos 10 minutos suficientes para grabarnos leyendo las seis oraciones. Here we go. Okay. Work there. Take your time. And if you don't have time to record right now, you can do it tomorrow or today after the class. Here we go. Empezamos a grabarnos. Vamos a bocaru.com. Se graban y luego generan el enlace. Please, go. Do it right now. Teacher. Sorry, teacher. Yes. ¿Cuál es una pregunta? 
Are you going to share the questions? Ahí están ya. Can you see the questions in the chat? No, I can't. Yes, I got it. Yes, you got them. Very good. Mm -hmm. So those are the questions that you are going to read. Go, please. Teacher, puede proyectarla para usar el teléfono o la misma vez. Yes, I'm going to do it right now. Go to bocaroof.com. Le voy a compartir también el enlace de la plataforma. Where is it? Teacher, esas preguntas son las que nos vamos, vamos a grabar. Las que mandó. Mm -hmm. Those ones. Ok. Ahorita se las comparto. Don't you worry. Six different questions. Here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Ahí las tienen. We still have five minutes. Grabense ustedes mismos en bocaru.com. Bocaru.com. Disculpe, teacher, y así como yo que estoy conectada al teléfono, si me pongo a grabar no me salgo de la reunión. I guess no. If not, don't worry. You can do it after the class as well. No, no. Puede hacerlo también después de la clase, no se preocupe. Don't worry. Okay, gracias. You're welcome. Okay. We still have five minutes. Please let me know once you're done. I guess it's 4.6. 4.6. Yeah. Okay. ¿Dónde dijo que lo teníamos que mandar? Today. <laughs> Try to do it today. Mm -hmm. Right now. No, no, me refiero que a, a, a dónde, así al grupo de WhatsApp o, o así en el ah, chat de, no. de la reunión. Go to the platform. En la plataforma, ejercicio 4.6. Ah, ah. Estoy sí. guardando y hablan. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Yo le voy el volumen porque no me dejaban grabar tampoco. Exacto. Sorry, me pasó lo mismo como cuatro veces también. Sí.
teacher. Yes. Donde le voy a agregar el link donde dice add a post. Yes. Rising and falling intonation. Pregunto, ¿no sería mejor poner el nombre de cada quien para que usted vea de quién son o le aparecen siempre? Aparece, aparece quien lo ha posteado. Ok, creo que ya todos grabaron, ya no los interrumpimos mientras hablamos. Bien, clase. Don't worry, si no lo han posteado todavía, eh, pueden poner su audio mañana o durante esta semana también para que quede ahí la evidencia de que sí lo hicimos y que practicamos. We were practicing, ok? Sí, chair. Yes. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta, pero es de otra lección. Eh, yo hice el, el ejercicio 4.4, uh -huh. pero hay una respu dos respuestas que no me las toma. Entonces, no sé si estoy eh, equivocándome uh -huh. o cómo, porque no me la agarra. Entonces, no okay. sé si, si es. Right now, vamos a chequear, solo paso la asistencia y nos quedamos con esos ejercicios. Ok, don't worry. Okay. Excelente. Today is the 21st. Aleli Concepción. Present teacher. There we go. Ana Gabriela. Ana Karina Orellana. Present teacher. Ana Stephanie. Andrea Isabel. Brian Edwin. I am here, teacher. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Eden. Here, teacher. Cesar Alexander. Present, teacher. Cristelia Rosalina. Present, teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Here I am, teacher. Edgardo Antonio. Here, Eduardo Elías. Present teacher. Edwin Ernesto. Present teacher. Emerson Alexander. Present. Elvis Aníbal. Present. Fátima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo. Gabriela Lisset. Here teacher. Okay. Gladys Elizabeth. She's there. Dice, dice ella de que no le sirve el micrófono, pero que ahí está. Ok, thank you. Glenda Abigail. Present. Iris Elena. Hear me. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabo Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Yvonne. Present teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. En Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Muy bien. Ok, clase. Vamos a entonces quedarnos con los ejercicios de plataforma. Si a ustedes les dio problema, pues 
podemos revisarlos ahorita. Y si no, pues esto sería por ahora. This is all for today. We are going to ¿A dónde, ¿a dónde es que se copia y se pega el link? Teacher, no, no vi bien allí yo. ¿A dónde lo vamos a pegar? Sí, porque, o sea, solo puse el título, pero It's ya here. no. Ok, great questions. Es acá, en el 4.6. Pronunciation, intonation in questions. 4.6. La parte no, el, el, de... Ajá, el link donde lo, donde lo pega. En la parte, en, ese, mm -hmm. en esa parte. Ya, yeah, en this okay, box. Okay. There we go. All right. Bien, class. ¿Qué ejercicio era que me dijeron? Cuatro puntos. Let me see. This one, cuatro, cuatro. Mm, cuatro, cuatro. ¿Cuál específicamente? Eh, el 3, lo que pasa es que yo me confundí porque yo le ponía I don't like it very much porque ah. había leído la conversación, pero sí me equivoqué. Sí, porque está hablando de fiction movies, es plural, por eso es. Okay. Uh -huh. bueno, por eso me en mi caso, <ríe> el, el number 5. Number 5, aquí está. Sí, doesn't. Yes, porque doesn't. estamos hablando de él. He doesn't or Jake doesn't, but I don't know about Lisa. Okay. I stand number six, seven, eight. ¿Cuál más? Solo eso. Okay. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa. Thank okay, you. Okay, don't worry. You're welcome. So, class, if you don't have more questions about the exercises or pronunciations, we are going to stop the class here. And thank you so much for joining today's class. We are going to see each other tomorrow, okay? Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye Good night to you. Thank you so bye. much. Good night. Bye bye. Sweet dreams. Thank you. You Sweet too. Dreams. You oh, too. My God. <laughs> Cesar, I still can listen to Everyone. you. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, class. Have a great night. Yeah, good night. <laughs>